Good afternoon. Hello. Keeping it real today. Let's see if anybody's about on the middle of a Saturday afternoon. Uh, how are you guys? I don't even know if I'm on the right page here. Oh, okay, here we go. Leave me a comment if you're around. Oh, of course, I can't see the comment screen and I have paint all over my hands. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, it's not there. And it's not there. <laughs> you guys, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, all right. Hi, guys. Found ya. Found me. Oh, my gal. I thought I would pop in because I rarely get uh, afternoons like this. And um, I thought I'd show you what I'm working on. And this is the truth. <laughs> this is, I should probably like, no makeup. Hi guys. Oh, so there are people around on, um, this thing is so messy that I gotta watch that. Okay. You guys are around on a Saturday. <laughs> I haven't even showered today, so if this if this is not truth television, I don't really know what is. But um I'm here and I thought I'd share what I've been working on and maybe brainstorm a little bit because I'm running out of ideas, but I don't know. So I, I have been painting and getting ready. I'm going to actually be setting my booth up uh, for the Art and Wine Festival. I feel like this is not going the way I anticipated. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why is this so bad? I don't know what's going on where the middle of my head is. All right. So, oh, it's Sunday in New Zealand. Uh, thank you, April. It's um, Saturday in my studio, and look at this. I have been going to town. <laughs> I'm like, I've got a little sweatshop rolling right now. Um, oh, Danielle, you like my realness. Oh, I don't think this will go to YouTube, but <laughs> I'm wearing yoga pants, no shower, um, and no makeup, but that's how I prefer me anyway. So let me show you. Um, my favorites are probably, I don't even know, but let me just show you what I've been doing. I, I got, I've just been painting <laughs> pandemic TV at its best. <laughs> That's what I am. So I posted these and immediately got, um, like several people ordered them and wanted to buy them. So now I'm like, oh shoot, because that's not the whole purpose. I want to sell them at the Art and Wine Festival. Uh, but I have cleaned out many a store. So um, I am definitely, I'll show you all of them. So these are poppies, obviously. These are plumbagos from my backyard. Um, uh, sunflowers, and I got them in stem and stemless and let's see more poppies i have just been going crazy and then so this one this is really representative of me and then obviously these these are over here because they're all ready to go and be packaged up and um so, so far I have, I have to put them all back the way, and I have them upside down for a reason, so I have to remember why, and, oh, yeah, these go here, this goes here, okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 22, oh my god, um, but super happy because people already ordered them, picked them up, I've left them on my front porch, I am now running a wine painting business out of my house. But the whole purpose was to paint them for the Art and Wine Festival. 
thank you for saying you love the sunflowers. I, I think my favorite right now are the poppies, only because now I can paint the poppies in two minutes. <laughs> so um, I, I've gotten the poppies down really well. Sunflowers too. Oh, the blue ones? You want me to show the blue one? Okay, so I'll show you the stemless. Sorry, but me in yoga pants today is not. So I got some feedback. And um, the lovely, these are all, this is all wet. That's why those are upside down. I have to remember when I make them and then I cure them. And there's like a whole process. So then uh, I get all the stickers off. Uh, and then I um, put them over there. Then I bring unpainted ones in here. These were all just painted today. So then those move over. And then once they've been set in the oven, I put them over here. So those are all set and ready to sell. Uh, but I sold the other, like, I don't know, six or eight that I had before. And I'm trying to come up with new designs. So I am a little tired. Um, but I decided I would dedicate the whole day to... Um, painting. So I'm not going to probably be able to retire off of this. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. Uh, for those of you who want to know how to paint these, I probably should give you the workshop link, um, which you can. I, I This is a class fully uh, available to you all. Um, let me see if I can find that. Um, real quick while I'm here. Sorry, a lot of people have already bought it, so I haven't even thought about it. But um, yes, uh, I have this, and, and I'm loving the feedback that everybody is giving me about the ease of the class and the way it was laid out and that you love it. So I guess the best thing to do is just give you the link. Um, the workshop is great. Great. I love that feedback. I am totally... Um, I'm all about presenting it in a super easy fashion so that, you know, you you don't have to be all panicked about it. Uh, just so you know, that workshop is $35. And then um, next week it goes up. So the, this is only, it's only early bird special is until, I believe, Wednesday. So it was a week I put it out there. Um, and that is what I have been doing. But that's... Um, Believe it or not, it takes a long time to paint them. <laughs> like, I wish they didn't take so long, but everyone is different, and I just want to make everybody, everyone a labor of love. And yesterday I had somebody pick up two. She took my card and said, I think we're going to need a bunch more for the family for Christmas, which I was like, great, but don't know about that. Um, and I put thank you cards in every one. And my hope is that when I go to the Art and Wine Festival, I would have like, I don't know, 50 of these. Yeah, I thought about doing grapes. I've done grapes a lot. I could do grapes. Uh, I, I've done those a lot. Um, I kind of not, that doesn't represent me as well, flowers. But yes, I probably will do some grape ones. Yeah, um, so I... I I thank you all who have been buying the workshop and giving me such positive feedback. Yes, I'm aware there is a paint shortage. People are being gouged for paint. I I tell you the brand and the supplies that I use. Please understand there's probably 10 other companies that make uh, glass paint, so don't feel you have to use the same ones. So uh, I'm really big about that. I don't work for any particular company. Obviously, uh, I used to work with Deco Art, and I know and use their paints. So that's all I have to say about that. I've been questioned a lot about it. I cannot control the paint supply. And believe it or not, I probably right now would be a good time for me to put paint on sale in my office. Uh, don't grapes have flowers? They have vines. They have vines. And you don't typically... Um, so... If you buy the workshop, everything is in there. And I'm not going to go into paints and recommend anything. I'm, I'm not here to sell anything. I'm just here to share with you what I'm making today. So that's all I'm doing. Um, and maybe get your ideas on any other designs. Yes, I have grapes on my list. I have tulips. 
I have, um, what else? Poppies was a big one that I got asked for because um, our state flower are poppies. The good news is, oh, I can draw poppies super easy. So, and, and I am just going to town. Like these are all being mass produced. Now I wish I had a factory mass producing them, but <laughs> mm -mm. I think the reason too is they'll sell if they're hand painted. So that was the good news. My one friend who picked up two yesterday, then four more. Poinsettia, I thought about. Coneflower is a good one. Poinsettia, I thought about. It's just I'm not ready to move into Christmas yet. Uh, but that's a great idea. Coneflowers, oh my God. Why didn't I even think of that one? I can do that one less. Um, I can do that one left, right, and center. Um, I've also been asked about turning some of these, if you've already bought the workshop, somebody wanted to know how to do the sunflower, and I'm going to guess the poppies. Um, I might do little supplemental videos. I just didn't want to get slowed down by the, um, I don't want to get slowed down by the process of videotaping, explaining things, writing things. So... I, I have not done that yet. I'm not ruling any of that out. So that's the dealio, if you guys want to know. Um, any other ideas, I'm definitely going to go through your concept. Uh, uh, and I don't know whether I, oh, pansies are a good one. I don't know whether to just do like 20 of the same one and guess and hope they thing or just have a variety because I'm going to sell them individually and together and, oh. Plus, I get super bored when I paint something once. I'm like, ugh, done. But I at least have to make two of them because I figured two of them would buy. Um, Susicle flowers. Well, those are easy for me. Thank you. Love the poppies. I have a feeling I need to paint a bunch more of the poppies because I posted those on my website. But I like the stemless poppy ones better than I like the stem. I only, I think, bought about 20 of the stemmed, oh, succulents, that's a good idea, Amy. Um, I only bought like, I don't know, 15 or 20, I, don't know, I bought even numbers, of the stemmed glasses, because I feel like now stemless are more popular, and everybody tells me they like that they don't, harder to spill. Um, you like the idea of having a variety. I kind of do too. I think if I were to walk up to a table, I'd be like, oh, I need that one, that one, that one, and that one. And I probably would buy four different ones because then I could say at Christmas, hey, Joe, you get the sunflower, you get the daisy, you get the whatever, and you get the whatever. So that way you could keep the, the glasses separate and everybody would know what they're drinking out of. Uh, that was my concept. So I'm not going to sell them in like sets of four. If somebody wants to come up and buy, I don't care, whatever. If they want to buy the whole table, they can, but I'm going to. I got to write all these down. Yeah, I didn't even. Um... Oh, oh, poppies. <laughs> See, I asked for people the red poppies. Oh, the poppies. Okay. So I have to get hot on the poppies. Tulips, I have tulips on my list because I actually have that as a special order. So if I get a special order, then I make them and then that's what I'm doing right now. I did not think, I did not think that this would be what I would be doing for the Art and Wine Festival, but I thought this is the easiest thing and it goes. I am not doing a pumpkin one because the Art and Wine Festival is like November 5th, 6th, and 7th. So I feel like I feel like we're just past um, Halloween. <laughs> Question, are you going to do any for men? Could you tell me something that is manly? I thought about doing, I, Sam, I'm at a winery, so I don't want to do like beer signs, but I could. It's just, I'm trying to go quick and easy. Autumn leaves is a good one. Mm. Autumn leaves is a good one. But you know me, that's so not my colors. But yes, I could do that. Yeah, maybe something like Thanksgiving themed. Yes. <laughs> I don't really autumn designs oh baseballs yeah yeah 
I would love all of this. Trees. Oh, so I'm going to do um, cherry trees. Cherry blossoms. I love cherry blossoms. And those are easy for me. Yeah, men like flowers. I kind of feel like the men are going to be like, here, honey, take 40 bucks and go buy what you want. <laughs> Cactus and succulents. That's a good idea. So um, I'm trying that. I'm trying to keep it easy. But yeah, men... Are there any men out there? I've already, one of my friends asked me to paint flamingos for him. So that is going to be done too. But I don't know if it's going to be done before the festival. Uh, bunches of grapes. Yeah, um, I paint grapes. Oh, hi, Sue. I paint grapes all the time with leaves. Um, used to do that a ton. So I'll probably do a few of those. But um, for my local peeps, they're going to be at the Art and Wine Festival. Unless people keep coming over and buying them, and then in that case, I will have none. <laughs> Yesterday was a good day of watching things, and I packaged them all up, but I'm not, that's not happening anymore. I'm running out of gift bags. So thank you guys for all of your suggestions. Now I've got to go back and look at this again. Uh, motorcycles at uh, new. No. Too complicated, too hard, too detailed. I go crazy. I got to keep it simple. That is like the whole idea. But thank you, Nikki. <laughs> no. Uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you guys doing on a Saturday? What are y'all doing on a Saturday? Oh, I could do the Harley logo. I've done that before. But that's a licensing thing. I don't like to get in trouble. Don't ask me to do Disney. Don't ask me to do anything like that. I do uh, April. Everything's for sale. If you want to come in here, buy, paint, go ahead. <laughs> oh, polka dots in our school colors. Um, that's a good idea. Oh my God, bulldog. Oh, our our school mascot is a uh, bulldog. I should do bulldog ones. Um. That's a good idea. School themed. Or, oh my God, I just thought of the most obvious one. I just thought of the most obvious thing. The Ramona R, our logo, or write Ramona on them. Oh, yes. The thing is with lettering, that just becomes a whole thing. But yes, I didn't even think about that. Oh my God, thank you. School colors. Yeah, um, that is a good idea. Oh, okay. All right, now I've got more ideas. I was beginning to run out of ideas. <laughs> cheese, I just had a whole thing of cheese, Diane. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. Oh, good. People are arting today. Yeah, that is such a good, I, Ramon, why would I even think about that today? Um, okay, those would sell because they're Ramona. Oh my goodness, this is so great. I just have to figure out how to draw a bulldog. Okay, not as easy as I thought it was going to be, but I could do it. All right, maybe I'll do that. Ah, oh, working on lesson plans. <laughs> I have to go shower. I actually have somewhere to be this evening with a mask and social distanced, of course. Uh, but I just thought I would pop in here, and I'm glad I did because you guys ended up inspiring me more than I thought. But, yep, that's the plan. Just got home from work and want to art, but also want to sit in my bed to two. I think she means patio. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> Because I don't know what a pitutu is. <laughs> oh, a wyland whale tail. I don't want to take, I certainly don't want to step on wyland toes. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, oh, Lisa, yes, you can. Uh, people, oh, Lisa, it, are, okay, the obvious, the answer should be no, Lisa. You may private message me if you would like to order glasses that you see. Yeah. Oh, my gal. That's so...
Yes, you can. Absolutely. Oh my God. Did you all see yesterday what I posted? Butterflies. I painted two butterflies for a special order yesterday. They don't go fast enough. Too much detail. I got wrapped in it. I realized you have to realize in order to make this worth a while, here's the thing about selling your art people. Here's a tip. Mass production, time management, and supply costs. If you can keep your supply costs low and your time management low, your profit margin is more. So what happens with me is I do, if I do commission stuff for people, um, I end up getting super crazy in the head and have to have it perfect. And so if you put 18 hours into one wine glass, probably best to just go buy it at the store. <laughs> Cecilia, I did those yesterday. I did two yesterday and they, they're they beautiful. I should show you those. Uh, there are, they're waiting to go in the oven. That was, that's pretty funny. Uh, so here's the thing to think about. I mean, it's a basic business philosophy, which is what I do for work. Material cost, labor cost, profit margin, there's your cost. And people don't like to buy what you, what as an artist, what you think it's worth. And then as an artist, what you actually could sell it for. <laughs> um, which is why I don't do a lot of art festivals anymore because I used to go and sell my art and people would go, oh, I would love to buy this, but don't want to pay $25 I want to pay $20 and you're like okay yeah so okay uh, I'm not gonna uh, talk about the curing and all that other stuff Lisa sorry I can answer questions but again I want everybody if you're going want real specific questions you could buy the workshop it's pretty inexpensive and I do talk about it the other thing I don't like to do is I don't like to talk about the various paints from various companies because they all have different directions on how they're used and cured and dried. And I get really stepped on when somebody says, uh, you said 325 and the bottle says 295 or degrees or whatever. And I always tell people, go back to the manufacturer of the paints and follow their strict instructions um, as far as time and temperature because they're all different. In fact, if you buy different paints in, for example, DecoArt has various uh, enamel paints, the temperature is different. Okay, yeah. Uh, does that make sense? Sorry, I don't want you to think I'm not answering your question. Uh, yes, if anything takes an hour to do, you have to start at 15 an hour and then add on. <laughs> It's funny because people ask me all the time, and I am working about on a business, building your art business class and things that I've learned over the years. And um, one thing I get asked about a lot is how do you price your art? And you also have to know your audience um, and know where you're selling. If I went to probably Napa, um, I'm my guess is it's going, they would be able to be sold more than say small town USA which is where I live and uh, I'm in the market of selling not taking it home <laughs> I physically cannot drink this much wine <laughs> and I really don't want to come home and be staring at these so yes if you'd like to uh, message me about uh, wine glasses uh, I'm happy to take your order it won't Probably be fulfilled until I get back from the Art and Wine Festival, which is just in two weeks. I only have two more weeks to do this. Hatomi said pricing is the hardest thing. It is one of the hardest things, but also know what you're worth. Do not undersell yourself. That's one thing I don't like to see. Um, I work, I've worked with a lot of artists, and you could be sitting next to somebody who has worked really hard, and they're just dropping the bottom out. That doesn't help anybody, especially themselves. Okay. Um, know your worth. Isn't that the truth? Okay, I think I answered most of the questions and I'll give the link again to the workshop. The workshop, by the way, is $35. So, um, I kept it reasonably priced for this week. It goes up next week. I just thought I would put an early bird presale out there because, um, people were asking me so much about the wine glasses. Learn what you can make fast and price appropriately for your audience. 
that's exactly what I'm doing. So I love a lot of the ideas, but I have to, um, <laughs> I have to mass produce. Um, Diane says, what are we making? I am not physically making anything at the moment, but I have been painting these all day. Like I haven't gotten it off of my chair. Oh, this is still wet. Nope, doing good. I have been painting wine glasses. I have been painting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, to be honest. And I've been going at it since I should figure this out. Oh, my goodness. Um, 16. <laughs> I don't know what time. 10. Oh. Okay. Um, Sherry said, it's a wonderful workshop. Well, thank you. I wanted it to be very descriptive and take you through it step by step. Thank you for that feedback. I have had nothing but wonderful comments, and I appreciate that because I am a kind of keep it real gal. I'm not a kind of keep it real gal. I have no makeup on right now. Um, and I have no makeup, and I'm, and I'm pretty much wearing what I woke up in. Um, I did brush my teeth. So I wanted it to be as uh, informative. I gave you lots of tips. And everything that I'm doing is exactly what's in that workshop. I don't, there is nothing I'm holding back. Except for, I just am expanding the amount of stuff I'm doing. The different content. I just want somebody to walk up to my booth, my table, my pop-up tent. Um and look and go, oh, look at all the pretty colors. I'm also going to paint them while I'm sitting there um, because I have to sit there from 11 to five every day and I thought there's nothing worse than looking at an artist who's twiddling her thumbs getting drunk on a bunch of wine. <laughs> I mean, 11 to five, You're, somebody's gonna show up at my booth at 4.30 and I'll be like, yeah, take what you want. <laughs> take it so I don't have to take it home. <laughs> I know, that's going to be me. And I'm going to actually do lives from there, if you guys are interested. It's the first weekend in November. And then, uh, like, somebody will walk up to my booth and want to talk me down on the price, and I'll probably be like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon, for saying that. I love to paint stuff. I just didn't realize that when you bought 50 or 60 glasses that it would take this long. <laughs> Um, I only have 16. Well, no, I have, I have more than that. I have 16, 17, 18, 19, 22. I have 22 of them done. Yeah, I thought it would make time go faster. Now, here's my thing. I hope the other artists that are doing this, because I won't be at the same place as they are. We're all being socially distanced at various wineries. I know I shared my idea. They better not take my idea. Like, you know. But, I mean, then, although I thought the Art and Wine Festival should be wise about this and probably should have asked all of us to paint them, and then that would have made their event look better. But who am I? That nobody's coming to me for my grand plan, so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, time for stripes. They're fast. Uh, you know what I realized? Stripes and polka dots. I was thinking about just sitting there and poking like polka dots. Oh, hold on. <laughs> um, perfect. Sorry, we have a little. Um, are, am I adding vases? thought about it. Sherry, that's a really good idea. I thought about it, but I haven't done anything. You know what? Stripes is a really good idea. Stripes would be really good idea on a vase. Okay. I only have 50 more wine glasses to paint, so after that I'll just go pick up vases. Uh, jelly pray, uh, print them. That would be cool as well. And that would be totally doable because the plate is so flexible. 
But then I would feel the need to draw on them because I want them to be a little bit like of me. That's why the flowers. I don't know. Have you... Um, hope you have someone to wrap and bag at your sale. Jan... Uh, I'm a one-man band. I didn't even think about um, bagging them up. You're kind of right. Like, I think I need to, I think I need to bag them for people. Didn't even think about that. Yeah. Okay. I will be hitting the Dollar Tree. I'm going to write that down. Probably would be nice if I put tissue paper in and gave out bags, right? That would be nice. Okay. No, I don't have any of this. Um, oh, and plain gift bag. Oh, no, no making the bags. Dollar Tree kids. I can keep it simple. You're right. Bags and tissue paper. Because if they buy them, uh, there goes money out of my profit margin. You're right. Like getting just some bags and tissue paper. Okay, you're right. Okay. Okay, anything else I need? Like, I just, I emailed myself that idea. Great idea. And now if you're going to go, yeah, stamp the bags with your logo. Oh, I already have that. No, I have, um, I have thank you cards that goes in every one with a business card. And how can you forget that mug? Um, and then I have uh, a stamp. It does say, no, that's my address. I don't want to give that. Oh, whoops. I do have a stamp that says, handmade by Tracy Wines Apple Studios. Okay. Good idea. Good idea. Really good idea. So now I have to print up thank you cards. Um, I'm not going to put any pricing on them. Mm, I learned my lesson on that. I used to price my art, and then people will pick it up, and they do this, and they go, mm. I would rather just go, there you go. You are so right. I know. That's another trick of the trade. You put your prices on things, and people right away go, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> At least if they have to ask, it sparks a conversation. <laughs> how much is this? Well, how much do you think? think it's worth and how much have you had to drink today <laughs> yeah I do uh I always do thank you cards I've always done thank you cards and my business card I I feel like it's it's oh I and yeah uh so that will be a good idea you guys thank you it's like getting a piece of artwork too yeah Oh, a ledger to tally my sales. Oh, uh, oh, a ledger to tally. <laughs> Cash only or Venmo. <laughs> Here you go. Just take it. <laughs> That's probably a good idea, too. <laughs> yes. So uh, all of this is a great idea. I should have had just, you know what? Here we go. Let's do this together. Look, this is this is my art pad. <laughs> it's an easel with a canvas on it. Okay, so we're going to get bags, tissue paper, uh, business cards. I also have your artful journey information, but I think that's TMI. Okay, business cards. Um, something to write down my sales. Hmm. Oh, I know what. Newsletter sign up sheet. Might as well hook, line, and sinker. Okay. You know what? Maybe a friend, a friend to help me. I'm going to call my friend Mary. Um, love, love your home. Your, I love the second artwork you're giving away. Bless your heart. I do believe in thank you cards. I know, because then I, otherwise I feel like I have to. My mom taught me to send a thank you card. This way I'd have to know their address and then personally, no. Okay, anything else? Take a pen and paper to make notes for next year's festival. I'm never doing this again, Patty. Oh, and a, ca a calculator. Hmm, hi, that will be 45. Everything's going to end in five. 
Oh, you only have a 50? I'm sorry, I don't have change. <laughs> you guys think I'm joking. Okay, I am going to ask Mary to help me. She's helped me before. So every year that I've done this, I've not done a booth. A sign about your business or at least your business name. I think I'm running. A sign would be a good idea. Hundred dollars in change. All right. Hundo in change. Got it. I would really like most people to Venmo me. No, I really want cash. I don't even want them to Venmo me. Okay. Hundred dollars in change. Got that one. Ask Mary to help me. That was going to be number one. Um, isn't it nice that two weeks in advance I'm doing this? I used to do this all the time. Uh, make a tax chart. I'll pay the taxes out of it separate. I don't care. 7.75% while I'm sitting there. Cash is king. Because <laughs> you know what's going to happen? I'm going to cash is king my way right over to the <laughs> wine and get that. Yes. <laughs> A banker's bag for cash. That is a good idea because every year I throw it in my pants pocket and then I wash it. What if I do all this and nobody comes? No, I will. Got it? Okay. Take your chalk. Oh, my chalkboard. Sherry. With my name and stuff. I do aprons. Okay, yes. I Aprons I'm selling too. Uh, my chalkboard. Good idea. And then I could change the message when I run out of stuff. Yeah, like get hand. That's a really good idea. Chalkboard. I wrote that one down. Never set your money down. Oh, yeah, that one I know. Actually, uh, I, especially because I'm going to have a couple glasses of wine, I'm really careful with money. Put one of your apron on it and use the pocket for your money. Good idea. And apron is a good selling point. Got it. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance you will be swamped. Um, this is all, I'm actually going to set my stuff up uh, n this weekend or next weekend um, in the living room so that I have it all set up. And I am taking art, like just random pieces that I don't even care about. So if somebody sees something that flips their lid, they can have it. Music for yourself if you aren't in, I have live entertainment all weekend and it's my friend Michael. Live entertainment all weekend. Isn't that great? And the other thing is, um, I've already like begged half my friends if they'll just come visit me. Even if they're not participating, you can just go visit the winery. You don't even have to participate in the Art Wine Festival, but I don't think that's going to be the way I sell it. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> it's going to do great. Uh, I'm just going to do what I normally do, and that's just wing it. <laughs> Watch... You know, I don't know. I laugh and I say, watch me wing it. But I do have a tendency to stick stuff in various pockets and then it ends up in the, um, like, wash. Here, oh, a pretty tablecloth and a plant. <sighs> That's actually a good idea. And I, pretty tablecloth. Oh, you know what I'll take? I'll take the plants that I painted the... Oh, I got it. What about a display uh, of your art? I'm taking my art journal stuff and displaying my art journal stuff. Snacks, water, hand cleaner. Uh, already have that. Uh, already have, I take hand sanitizer the second I have walk out the door. Um, fake grapes for decoration. <laughs> That's a good idea. The pretty tablecloth. Patty, you're really cutting into my profit margin for this. I, I might be able to borrow that. Yeah, tablecloth is pretty important. Uh, that's, I don't know why I'm doing this. All right. <laughs> uh, trash bag, the wine. I'll probably be sitting next to it. I just, I'll be sitting next to a winer. It, yeah. Yeah, remember, I'm going to be sitting at a, a business that's conducting business all day. So yeah. And I'll take you guys along. Wet wipes, uh, baby wipes. That's already in my, I'm going to be painting there, but I will add that. You guys, 
yeah, my paints. I'm doing all that. Um, use them. Patty, you keep saying this like I'm going to be doing this next year. I'm not going to be doing this next year. I'm going to, everybody, if I talk about doing this again next year and even painting a wine barrel, see, if they were having it where they normally have it, I would have said, nope, I'm not doing it. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll do that for the tape. Ask your friends at the winery to borrow decor. Um, actually, ironically, I made most of their decor and their signs. So that's, if you guys remember the winery sign I made, that was for them. So my art's everywhere there. Um, I'm going to bring you guys along. I'll take you all along just because I might be sitting there by myself twiddling my thumbs um, and I might need to take you along. But that's okay. Even if, even if it's not busy, but they're normally pretty busy on the weekends. Um, I happen to be going to a winery friend's house, so I get to like go in the house and, you know, put stuff in the refrigerator and stuff. Um, yeah, not doing this again, kids. Mm -mm. Uh, yes, Tracy, you were not going to paint a barrel the last few years. Right. However, this year I decided not to ask anybody about it, and then I forgot that I said I would never do this again. But I'm actually openly saying I'm not doing this again. Not doing it. It's my third one. It's, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. Yes, you'll all go to the winery with me. I'll take you around and I'll show you. You'll probably be on there. I'll probably be live several times that weekend. I think it's the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th or the 6th, 7th, 8th of November. So if you guys are around, I'll do it several times. It'll be like my week away where I was weekend away and I was at Wyland and I was live every five minutes, it seemed like. A moving van to Hallmark. I know. It's three days, cat. Um, I don't have to unpack it and pack it up every day. It's uh, I could leave it there. Any flower planters left over from you painting them? Take them. Oh, I'm taking the wine barrel planters. Uh, I have one to finish, one that's done, and I I don't think I'm gonna have time. Yes, those are going with me too. A friend to help. I gotta work on that one. Oh, number one for next year. Don't do it. <laughs> so, I like I said, every year that I've done it, I haven't. They offer you a free booth to sell your art, and I don't do it. And they get a little upset with me, but I don't do it because I don't want to sit in the hot blazing sun all day and pan my art. Uh, it's not enjoyable. I'd rather attend it and participate in the auction. But this year, I have no choice because. I don't have a choice. Will you have a balcony anywhere to air out your girl? <laughs> Note to self. Don't read the comment before you say it out loud. Um, Diane, that was a one-time event that I do once a year, and I already got it out of my system for 2020. I will not be doing that again in 2020. However, 2021, I plan on doing it early in the year. Um, oh, I wish I could go with you, Andy, someday when this COVID thing is, uh, over. Yes, I will meet you again in person. I would love to have your help. I'm actually thinking I'm going to take, uh, ask Mary if she'll help me. You know, Mary. Um, Patty, take a fan. Yes. I'm, our weather has just subsided a little bit. So um, I'm kind of hoping it's um, not going to be blazing hot out there. Hold on. Writing it down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, you share one oddball thing that you do over a weekend under the influence of a couple of beverages, <laughs> and look what happened. <laughs> And for the record, I thought I knew nobody down there, and I did not know that there would somebody be somebody on that balcony. I'm still going to hold to that story. And Mary is a sweetheart. I really need to get a hold of her, and I'm going to do that when we're done. Uh, thank you, guys. This was actually far more helpful than me talking about these wine glasses. 
Oh, I would love. Oh, I do want to thank you guys. I want to thank you all. I, if some of you were there. Some of you may not have been there. Um, Ruth, you live locally. Are you going to try and go that weekend? I think so. Aren't you Oceanside or something? I'm really, I know it's, I know there is a Ruth. Um, I want to thank you guys because uh, I don't know if you guys saw my demo yesterday for Jelly Arts, which was like in the middle of the afternoon on a random website, Art Supply Warehouse. Uh, I got an email from them saying that my, um, I don't know if I could say this. I guess I could say this. They emailed myself and um, uh, the owner of Jelly Arts. I, I can read. I'm just going to say it. Hi, just wanted to say that Tracy did a fantastic job on her Facebook Live demo. It was our most watched Facebook Live demo during the whole event. And thank you again, Tracy. I cannot wait to talk to you to schedule some classes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I told her in the beginning I was coming locked and loaded with my own posse. And y'all showed up. And thank you so much because, oh, um, Ruth, Ruth, here's a, here's a secret. You don't have to go and sign up. Okay, Ruth, you could just go to the winery I'm at if you want to stop in for a visit. Okay, I'm not saying you have to, and that doesn't cost any money, okay? <laughs> okay, just letting you know. There's that winery is open all weekend long. So on Friday, yeah, it's open on Friday too. So yeah, it's because of your personality. Thank you so much. No, that was really, um, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart because I told you guys about it and it was like, um, that's pretty cool because that helps me. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Ruth, don't tell anybody, but yeah, the winery is the winery I'm located at, Ramona Ranch Winery, is open all weekend, and they're not—I don't—they're not closed for a private event. I told—I've been telling people to go there anyway. They're open. Okay, I have an easy up. I'm borrowing an easy up. Is that what it's called? A shade. I'm borrowing that from my friends. The tribe that travels. Thank you guys. No, that made me look really, really good. I'm starting to burn up. Uh, I, I, I did tell her early on because I was like, how is everybody doing with the audience? And she's like, oh, it's so-so. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, they're coming. Um, thank you. That was really sweet. Okay, yeah, Ruth, no problems. I just remembered you live local, but um, that that this is not a closed event. It's just if you want tickets... You get tastings and food. You just won't get all that, the food and the tastings and stuff like that. And and But you could still go to the winery. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for that. Just, just, just. <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, I'm not doing it again next year, right? It's like childbirth when you go, I'm having no more kids. And then you decide to do it again and you have twins. Yep. Great idea. All right. I will remember I, after I had the twins and then people said, are you going to have more kids? I was like, nope, nope. I have it written on every bathroom wall. No more of this stuff. the history of my being. All right. Well, I really do have to go because I have to be ready in an hour to pick up my dear friend. And um, if you guys are watching from the Ramona Art and Wine Festival, I apologize. I definitely will be doing it again. And of course, I want everybody to participate. <laughs> this is why I don't get hired for things, I guess. All right. Well, you guys, thank you. Um, Maybe I'll pop in tomorrow if I'm doing, I'm doing this all over again. I'm hoping I can get 22 more wine glasses painted. Look at that. Thank you. You have, two, it's two, look at how pretty that is. Um, you, we have two more weeks to talk about this. And if anybody, uh, I'm going to type up this list and thank you so much. That was really helpful. This is really, don't tell anyone, but I don't know. Ruth, I promise not to tell anybody. <laughs>
you know what? Maybe I should not have all wine glasses then. I know I thought about that too, but oh, that's so funny. So the other perks are not so perky. Right. By the way, I gave birth to one child. See? Okay, that's too funny. I just wouldn't mind the visit. I mean, and that's no obligation. I know that's a drive for you too. All right. Well, thank you. This has been more than entertaining, and I really should have put makeup on and done my hair, but it's going to take effort. Have a really wonderful day, my friends, and thank you so much, because without you, this has really, you know, my purpose would be different if it wasn't this, but I wouldn't say I have no purpose, but I do have purpose, and I would figure it out, but all right. Kids, I'm off to shower and look pretty. Maybe I'll post a photo because I'm putting on boots, new pants, larger size, new sweater, and um, I'm getting all dudded up for my dear friend who um, we're going to be celebrating his life tonight. So I uh, will be uh, off in the distance. So... All right, my thank you, Vicky, very much for saying that. You know what? It's it's the smile you wear that fills your face. Or that's what my grandma used to say, just because I was an ugly child. <laughs> thank you, Vicky. Thank you. Uh, it was his birthday yesterday, so we got we got through. We're doing good. We're life is life is checking along, and all blessed for knowing him. That's that's how lucky we are. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I'll see you all maybe tomorrow. All right, but uh, thank you for all your help today, and talk to you soon. <laughs>